Hey, welcome to another video about new features of the latest Spring Tools version that we released just a few days ago. Um, in this video, I would like to build upon the previous video that you might have seen that introduced the version validations um, that we have built into the tools. So the new validations will tell you when your project in your workspace is basically out of date with regards to the used Spring Boot version. It will tell you there's a new patch version, a new major version, and things like that. Um, this video is really about the next step. So if you have an outdated version of Spring Boot in use by a project, you probably want to upgrade that. And there's new tooling built behind the scenes to help you with that. There's a little light bulb showing up here, and this light bulb will allow you to automatically upgrade your project, for example, in this case, to the latest patch version. This will just change the Maven dependency in your POM file. Um, and there's another recipe behind the scenes here that allows you another quick fix to upgrade your project to Spring Boot 3. So if I execute the simple one, upgrade to the latest patch version, it will change the POM file in this case only. This support initiates the tooling behind the scenes, kind of the full machinery to upgrade those things. In this case, it's just changing the version here in the POM file. There is no support yet for Gradle files that will come up in a future version of the tooling. But here it will change the version of the parent, parent POM file. Um, so with that, your project is up to date with the latest patch version and there's no new patch version available anymore. That's great. Um, and it helps you a lot to always stay up to date with the latest patch version. Good stuff. The next step is, of course, what happens if you would like to upgrade to a new version, a new minor, a new major version. So a bigger change that might require code changes and not just changing the version of your Spring Boot Parent POM. Usually, you would go to something like the migration guide for Spring Boot 3, in this case. You would read through all of the necessary steps that you need to take, read through all the things, run, for example, the properties migrator piece, you would manually change to the Jakarta EE packages, uh, and all those other things. Right? We try to help you with that. So we built in support for automatically converting many of those changes for you at your fingertips, basically, by executing a little quick fix. So if you execute this quick fix, it will run the full conversion for you automatically behind the scenes. So it will again execute this, um, this recipe, computing changes behind the scenes. And in a moment, you will see that all of those changes will come up in your project and will be done automatically for you. It's not necessarily changing everything for you that is necessary, but most of the stuff. So as you can see here, for example, it changed the Spring Boot Major version, it changed the Java version and so on. So let's take a look exactly what happened. So in this case, it changed the, the POM parent, the Java version, it added a few dependencies for the new Jakarta packages and took care of a few other dependency definitions. And it also automatically upgraded all your import statements and switched them from Java X to Jakarta in this case for all the different Java source files. There is a lot more happening behind the scenes, but this might not apply for this project. But everything that is automated will be executed on this project. If you would like to see the details about what this automated conversion script can do for you, you can also execute that manually on a project by going to the command palette and saying upgrade Spring Boot version. In this case, it tells you all the different versions that we have, so supporting from different versions to different new versions. So, for example, there's the recipe supporting the upgrade from 2.7 to 3.0. So, if you want to take a look at the details, there's a little icon showing up here about the sub-recipes. So, everything that is included in this big major step. If you click on that, you will see all the different steps like the Jakarta DE package changes, upgrades to the Maven Palm and so on. And even those might consist out of smaller steps that you can also take a look at. In this case, for example, see, oh, it changes the Java version to 17 and upgrades the Palm and so on. And then you can also individually select steps or unselect steps to execute them or to include them in your project conversion or not. 
All this is using the open rewrite, the open source open rewrite project behind the scenes and helping you with that. And if you have any feedback, let us know. We hope this helps you a lot with upgrading to newer Spring Boot versions. And if you have any feedback, let us know. We would be very happy to hear from you. Thank you.